And Alibaba made Wall Street history one week ago with the largest initial public offering in history. Since then, the China-based company's stock has flattened out while the market has fallen. The Dow dropped 264 points just yesterday. Alibaba's founder, Jack Ma, has a net worth now of nearly $26 billion. <laughs> Sunday on 60 Minutes, Lara Logan sits down with Ma to learn how he built the world's largest e-commerce company. With just over $50,000 in seed money, Alibaba was born. Today, it's valued at $231 billion and is headquartered in Hangzhou on a sprawling state-of-the-art campus that rivals any in Silicon Valley. Ma's personal fortune makes him the richest man in China and one of the most influential. It's impossible to run a business on Alibaba's scale without official blessing. You were quoted saying, when you have millions of small companies using your site and billions of dollars in transactions every day, the government cares. Yeah. So what do they care about? They care that I can stabilize the country. I told the government, if people have no jobs, you are in trouble. Government will be in trouble. My job is to help more people have jobs. So usually when people succeed in China, they either have connections, political connections, or they come from a wealthy family. You had neither. No. <clears throat> and you've done this without interference from the government? Well, I never got one cent from government. I get n never get one cent from China banks. So I'm very independent. That was true when Alibaba began and most of its capital still comes from abroad. But more recently, some of its smaller investors have included institutions with ties to China's ruling elite. Alibaba has also benefited from Chinese government policies that make it difficult for foreign competitors to operate there. Ma explained how he walks a fine line with Beijing. I have a very strict talk to my team. So never ever do business with government in love them don't marry them so we never do projects for government if they come to us say the jack can you help with this good i will introduce friends to you who are interested in doing that or if you want me to do it i do it free for you just one next time don't come to me again so because of that we keep very good re love relationship with the government Mm. Mm. And how did Jack Ma build Alibaba into the world's largest e-commerce company, dwarfing Amazon and eBay combined? Well, you can watch Lara Logan's report Sunday on 60 Minutes right here on CBS. He is he's, the man of the hour. He is so fascinating, guys. I heard him speak the other day, and he's, he gave a lot of credit to women in his company. He said women rule with their heart and their brain, and the brain is the strongest muscle. Yeah, I like used to that. see him, he'd go to Davos and you'd see him there. I mean, he was all ears just picking up and absorbing everything he could possibly find.